Liam, uh, a difficult day at times, but showed real fight with bat and ball. What was your assessment of that day? Yeah, look, obviously it was quite a tough day for us uh, early on with the bat, um, you know, but we fight back as we always try and do and, you know, try and try to put ourselves in a good position. Um, you know, credit to Hampshire, I thought they bowled really well, um, you know, and just uh, we, we always spoke about partnerships and if we could get two or three partnerships, um, even uh, when we were five down this morning, you know, we still had our heads high, um, you know, and really wanted to push on. Um, but overall, I think we've had a pretty decent day, especially with the ball, you know, to get them seven down. Uh, they did build a little bit of partnership, but, you know, being able to break that was, was really nice and get a few more wickets and try and go on tomorrow. You came in quite early with the bat after a, a flurry of quick wickets. Was it difficult to bat up there in that, in that morning session? Yeah, look, like I said, they bowled really well. Um, you know, uh, credit to, to Hampshire and the, and the, the way they bowled. Um, yeah, it was, it was quite difficult. Obviously, the conditions aren't, aren't quite favourable or batter-friendly, to be honest. But, um, you know, it's one of them where you've got to try and dig in and do your best for the team. It was a vital stand, really, with Ben Slater that helped hoist knots up. What's your mindset and what are you discussing out there in the middle when your backs are against the wall like that? It's just about staying in building partnerships. You know, we, we've got a long, long time to bat you know, in four-day cricket. So, um, re to be honest, it was just about staying in and uh, accumulating runs that way. And how impressed were you with the way that he batted? Because he obviously batted for an hour in difficult conditions last night as well. Yeah, look, Ben's a, a great batter, you know. Um, the way he went about his business is a credit to him. You know, all the hard work he puts in behind the scenes that people don't see, you know. So it's nice for him to score runs as well. And then he fought back as a team with the ball in that, that afternoon session. Obviously, Dane took three wickets just before tea. How important was that little spell? And he, he seems to do it quite often. Yeah, look, um, he said something about being the Titanic trio or something like that. I mean, me being the lifeboat. But, uh, I mean, you know, credit to, you know, him, Brett and Fletch for... You know, keep, they keep trucking in day in, day out, you know, and it's a massive credit to the way they, they go about things. And an important breakthrough for yourself initially, get, getting Dawson after those two put on sort of a, a decent stand towards the, towards the day's end. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, you know, we always knew that maybe getting one of them would bring a couple more, and, and thankfully it did tonight, you know, to get them seven down and going into the third day is really good for us. And that ball from uh, Luke as well to get rid of Vince as you said that that was an important partnership to break but to get both of them before the day's end was, was important. Yeah absolutely you know he's, he's a very good player so especially to bowl an absolute jaffer like that <laughs> when he's you know he's 16 17 overs deep and you know best in the country at the minute I mean you can't you can't fault what, what he's done you know it's a great ball to get a good player out. And finally Hampshire's lead just a touch over 200 now what's your mindset going in tomorrow limit them to, to as few as possible if we do get some play without the rain coming? Yeah, absolutely. You know, we, we don't really talk about one another and we just try and, you know, crack on with it. Um, but, yeah, if we can get them all out for as less runs as possible, then I think we'll have a good day. Thanks very much. Cheers. You did brilliantly to hold that.